in the temple you learn secret handshakes uh, and you go through various motions and one of those that became controversial and they, they did away with it uh, was this motion of slitting your throat and when you do that you say I will suffer my life to be taken uh, and then you do it you kind of there's another one where you slit your bowels open with by doing the same sort of emotion. That was done away with too. Would Mitt Romney have sworn that oath? Oh yeah. All adult Mormons would have sworn the oath until it was abandoned in 1990, and that includes Mitt Romney. That raises questions if they've got a hold on the man who may end up in the White House. Let's talk about Mitt Romney. Okay. The man who may well become the most powerful man on earth. Mm -hmm. As a Mormon in the temple, I've been told, he would have sworn an oath to say that he would not pass on what happens in the temple lest he slit his throat. Is that true? That's not true. That's not true. We do not have penalties in the temple. You used to? We used to. Therefore, he swore an oath saying, I will not tell anyone about the secrets here lest I slit my throat. Well, the, the, the vow that was made was regarding the ordinance, the ordinance of the temple. It sounds Masonic, sir. It sounds Masonic. Well, it's, compro uh, it's similar to, to, to a, a Masonic uh, relationship. The most, potentially, the most powerful man on the world the has sworn an oath, which he meant at the time, whatever it is now, that he must not tell anyone about what he's seen, lest... He slit his that he would not tell anyone about his personal pledge to the Lord.